Well, guys, James Lord Bathler's out here, and uh, there's three of us out here, and we are throwing everything, and we are not getting bites, so it's pretty rough. I think what is going on here the other morning when we did get bites out here it was really uh, overcast out, and I think it had something to do with the pressure. So, uh, yeah, there is obviously no cloud cover today. It is a nice, bright, sunny day. And uh, I'm going to make some more casts with this bait. Not getting any bites, but I'm trying to stick with it. I've been throwing top waters and throwing my big bait. And uh, when, it's, when it's comfortable for you to go out and fish, the fish probably are not biting. If you go out and it's really uncomfortable, it's cold, it's wet, it's raining. Um, certain, certain times, man, when it's uncomfortable for you to be out there, that's when the fish are biting the most. Um, when it's really windy and it's rough and stuff like this, um, that's the time. They're supposed to be 15 mile per hour winds today, and we got like a little tiny, like maybe a four mile per hour wind going on here. This is not the 15 mile per hour, get the water chopped up and get the fish moving kind of water weather I wanted, but is what it is, man. So, urban bass hours, I think I'm gonna be heading out of here pretty soon and uh calling it a day man i've been out here for a long time been out here since the sun came up just about and uh it's rough man it's just about noon time i ain't got one bite today not one i threw crankbaits topwaters um all kinds of stuff so it was rough man gotta say and uh if it's comfortable for you to go out and fish the fish is probably going to be horrible something that I've just learned over the years every time I've gone out and it's been crappy conditions we end up smashing them so we were cold the other morning it was really cold when we got out here but we still got them man um, I don't know I just I tried to come out and get some redemption on these big ones did not happen did not happen they're smart man they feed and then they hang out and who knows how long in between that is for those big ones. So sometimes it's a couple days. They can go like a week without eating if they want.